Hey everyone, you might want to pause your PC build plans, because AMD just dropped its cheapest X3D chip ever, and it comes with a massive 96 megabytes of L3 cache. And we got the first real-world performance test of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5050, and the results might surprise you. The RTX 5050 has officially launched, and it's already showing up in stores. But until now, we didn't have any real benchmarks, just official numbers from NVIDIA. Well, that changes today, thanks to Inno3D, who've shared the first look at both synthetic and gaming performance. So, how does it stack up against the RTX 4060 and the older RTX 3060? Let's find out. Starting with synthetic benchmarks, the RTX 5050 holds its own. It actually matches, or even slightly beats the RTX 4060 in some tests like Steel Nomad, Port Royal, and Firestrike. It lags just a bit behind in tests like Speedway and Time Spy, but overall, not bad for a $249 GPU. Now let's talk gaming, and this is where it gets interesting. Inno3D tested four popular titles at 1080p max settings, Borderlands 3, Far Cry 6, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In these real-world scenarios, the RTX 5050 outperforms the RTX 3060 by up to 18.5%. Impressive. But compared to the RTX 4060, it comes up just a little short. It matches the 4060 in Far Cry 6, but falls behind by a few frames in the other games. Still, performance is smooth, and for most gamers, this is more than enough for 1080p gaming. As for cooling and power, the dual fan Inno 3D model ran at a stable 2.6 GHz, with temps hovering around 65 degrees for the GPU and 66 for the memory. Power draw maxed out at 130 watts, pretty efficient overall. Now comes the big question. Is it worth buying? Right now, the RTX 4060 is priced around $299 to $329, and here's the catch. That's basically the same price range as the newer RTX 5060. For just $50 more, the 5060 8GB is a much better investment, and if you're looking for even more performance, the RX 9060 XT 8GB is an excellent choice. So unless the RTX 5050 drops to around $200, it's a tough recommendation. And if you're on a budget, definitely look at Intel's ARC B580 12GB or the B570 10GB, both great picks under $250. Even though the AM4 platform is now over 8 years old, AMD just refuses to let it die. And honestly, that's great news for budget-conscious gamers. Out of nowhere, AMD silently dropped a brand new processor, the Ryzen 5 5500X3D. The 5500X3D is essentially a slightly scaled-down version of the already impressive Ryzen 5 5600X3D. It still packs 6 cores and 12 threads, just like its big brother, but with slightly lower clock speeds. The base clock is set at 3 GHz, and it can boost up to 4 GHz. That's a bit slower than the 5600X3D, which runs at 3.3 GHz base and 4.4 GHz boost. But the real value here isn't the speed, it's the cache. This chip features 96 MB of L3 cache, thanks to AMD's 3D vCache technology, the same tech that made the 5800X3D such a gaming monster. Now here's the trade-off. Because of the stacked cache design, X3D chips tend to have lower clock speeds and higher power draw. That's true here too. The 5500X3D is rated at 105 watts of TDP, while the regular Ryzen 5 5500 runs at just 65 watts. So yeah, this chip is going to run hotter, and you'll probably want a decent cooler to go with it. But considering the performance uplift you're likely getting in games, that trade-off could totally be worth it. What's even more exciting is that this chip is expected to cost around $150, making it the cheapest X3D processor AMD has released so far. Right now, it's only available in Latin America, and AMD hasn't even officially announced it. It just sort of showed up on their website. That's it for today. Let us know what you think about the RTX 5050 and 5500X3D in the comments. Are they worth it, or are there better options out there? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest gaming tech. See you in the next one.